All right, lesson five, standardization calibration laboratory equipment. Lesson five, standardization and calibration of laboratory equipment. Critical task 101, 523, 3405. Introduction, order the petroleum laboratory measurement to be accurate. All the instruments must be calibrated to the standard. This ensures the laboratory test measures the given accurate account of the condition and quality of samples being tested. Samples to be tested, the proper part of developing laboratory equipment is the standard opposition procedure, calibration standard opposition procedures, establishing calibration standard opposition procedure following section include the purpose of the section described, the purpose of preparing maintenance and standard opposition procedures, the scope of the section described, the broad concept of the equipment calibration, proper record keeping, training, and personnel responsibility. The section describes the specific responsibility of all the personnel assigned to the laboratory. Procedures of the section describe the procedure to be followed with the concern of the equipment calibration, identification of the equipment that needs to be calibration procedures, establishing calibration schedule procedures for internal C-level and external A-level calibration safety environmental consideration to be addressed during the operating calibration procedure record, keeping personal training on delay weekly, monthly, etc. Basis the instructions for the calibration equipment that may applicable technical manuals record keep of the section describe the purpose of using the instruction completion of the disposition forms of the record keeping system that must be followed. The equipment maintenance of the section listed for the equipment system that must be calibrated on a periodic basis. Miscellaneous the section contains uh, other specific uh, such as definitions when used and not the specific forms of symbols, special instruction calibration of equipment. Reference the section list of the reference used the guide for the personal standard opposition procedure. Implementation of the calibration standard opposition procedure following steps are included. Identification of the equipment. That requires the calibration, establishing the calibration schedule for the equipment, the piece of the equipment, establishing the procedure for internal C to level of calibration, identification, external agency for the A level of the calibration, identification, safety, environmental consideration to be addressed during operational calibration procedures. Part B, implement, 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 implement laboratory equipment calibration standard opposition procedure. Calibration requirements these being found in the technical bulletin 43-180 with applicable ASTM methods, military standard, military standard 978, and technical bulletin 750-25. Personal requirements according to the AR-7 uh, Army Regulation 750-25 of the part laboratory personnel as responsible for ensuring the laboratory equipment listed with the technical bulletin 43-180 the periodic, periodically calibrated. Calibration logs, they are not required. These have been valuable in maintaining all the equipment audit, um, audit trail. They can also be used to schedule the C-level calibration workload with the laboratory A-level calibration of the TMDE. Calibration and testing equipment in addition with the control and laboratory equipment components with the test kit may also require calibration sample gauge kitting that contains the image the type and bob that must periodically calibrate a kit for the contained theoremite Thermo hydrometer the thermometer the hydrometers will need calibration personal responsibility for the operation of these kits should contact the nearest mobile based petroleum laboratory for sea level calibration support most of the time one of the one on one for one exchange each of the item can be arranged with the capture capture fuel to test kit does not require the calibration of level calibration of level calibration and not performed with the petroleum laboratory personnel it is performed a level a level calibration is not performed with the petroleum laboratory performance is performed by a personnel with the TMD calibration center the petroleum Laboratories can either schedule a TMD calibration lab laboratory to team to perform a A-level calibration on the site and send the equipment to the TMDE calibration repair um, center with a combination of both. Choose the method to benefit depends on the regulation policy. The specific command the laboratory sending the equipment with the calibration must have at least two sets of equipment on hand. Never turn in both sets at the same time. Rotate them to keep them calibrated on, on hand. The DA form 2402 exchange tag is filled out and attached to each of the items of the equipment that must be sent to the calibration facility. Sending the Controlling laboratory files with the bottom of the portion of the tag on accountability purposes. C-level calibration, C-level calibration standardization performed with the drone laboratory, laboratory personnel using A-level calibrated set of equipment. Once item, the equipment that is passed for the C-level calibration committed with the DA labeled 80, the US, U.S. Army calibrated instrument is either attached with the item and the equipment with the DA Department of Defense Form 314 and the kept on file with the item's equipment with the fail of the C-level calibration shall have the DA Form 2417 Army, U.S. Army calibration system rejected instrument and attached so that they will not be used the item's equipment along with the item's equipment being returned to the a level calibration facility should be turned into repair disposal. Verification requirements is necessary to verify the calibration requirements for the laboratory equipment that has been established in accordance with the technical bulletin 43180, the applicable ASTM test message, military standard 978, and manufacturer specification. Part C checking on calibration due dates, review calibration suspension according to the schedule on Department of Defense Form 34314, and files review of the C level procedures. Calibration due dates of the Department of Defense Form 314 used to record the calibration date, the due dates for the patrol and laboratory equipment. The due dates are based on the manufacturer's recommendation calibration requirements. 
Check the calibration due dates for the necessary for the check. The Department of Defense Form 314, each of the pieces of equipment recorded the periodic calibration for the equipment that needs to be calibrated in another location necessary to be sure that the turn and procedures have been followed correctly. All right, view calibration suspense file with the completing accuracy. Calibration suspense file with the youth track period calibration various equipment. Be sure to review these suspense files. Regulatory accuracy and completeness for your laboratory internal sea level calibration procedures. DA form level 2080 should be checked to ensure the calibration procedures are being completed within the course of the technical rules in 750.25. It is necessary to verify the laboratory technician file the calibration guide is the applicable technical manual manufacturer's instructions for specified equipment. Lesson 6, Petroleum Laboratory Supply, supply Critical Task 101, 523, 3400 Series. Introduction. In order to smooth out Operation Petroleum Laboratory, detailed records must be maintained. They relate to the supply use and replenishment. The details should be described in Petroleum Laboratory Standard Optimization Procedures. Supervisors have the responsibility to maintain these records and ensure the supplies are ordered and properly in order to carry out the mission. Part A, ordering supplies. Um, general order procedures and comments are needed to cover the detailed appropriate section of the Laboratory Standard Optimization Procedure. View of the Laboratory Standard Optimization procedure. Each individual is assigned a base and mobile air mobile laboratory will capable of ordering the supplies for the laboratory supply requirements may vary to do to the type of laboratory technical manual listed components maintenance requirements for each of the type of laboratory the appropriate technical manual for the three types of laboratory or files base of laboratory technical manual 5 66 40 2 14 14 mobility laboratory TM 5 66 40 2 15 13 air mobility technical manual 10 66 40 2 16 13 and P Supply requirements of laboratories determine the table organization equipment of the tow, the, the table, the distribution of allowances, technical manuals, military fields, federal specification, military standards, um, 3004, military handbook, uh, 200. When ordering supplies, it is important to know the type of the supplies being ordered with the six major types of non-expendable major pieces of equipment, non-perishable type of the items, expandable, perishable, emptied up, and uh, used up, use of the breakage, and list of the keep of the track of the items broken during the laboratory operations, major end items, the component parts, secondary piece of equipment to major end of the item, such as the task apparatus and total to a mobility, laboratory tools of the toolkit, self-service supplies, perishable supplies such as paper, pens, toilet items, etc. High dollar on control supplies because the cost of excessive controlled items such as fuel, ammunition, and paint, etc. All supplies that have needed to be ordered shall be identified in one of four ways. National stock number, line item number, manufacturer, and technical manual hand receipt. Laboratory supplies in order requisition using one of the three forms of DA Form 2765 issued for the request for Issue or turn in DA Form 1348 Department of Defense Single Line Item Request in System Manual. DA Form 3161 Request for the issue the turn in temporary issue. When supplies are ordered and received, they are listed and noted in respective to the TO DA Form 20640 to the document register for supply actions. The separate document register is kept for the non expendable. The expendable items used in the laboratory, you must account for the, each of the pieces of laboratory equipment. Usually, after the in, in charge of the person, accountability equipment is the property offered the number of the laboratory supply item. Check because all this equipment must be obtained for the local support supplies. Due to this, um, due to the due is rare requirement for the item. When there is no demand for the item, the Army will not keep the item in supply system. The commercial catalogs may be obtained directly from the company or the supplier's office, and the record will be established for the replenishment of expendable laboratory supplies. Therefore, when you are down to Subs reorder point, you must requisition the quantities to replenish the required stock level. Overpack supplies, most expendable addition is required for the deployable laboratory the supplies you can deploy usually 60 to 90 days. Expendable supplies unit and supply channel can be established. Part B, supervisor responsibility, verify technicians to fill out with the break list of the established procedure for questions. Supplies for the use of the Fed log, keep the track required to supplies, receive supplies, and store supplies. Lesson 7, direct mobile laboratory operations to critical task 101-52. 5223-3404. Introduction to the successful deployment of the mobile petroleum laboratory and critical selection of the appropriate site and verifying the preventive maintenance check services to ensure the laboratory has been packed, secured, and developed with the mobile laboratory standard optimization procedures whose task will allow the operation running in smooth and efficiency. Part A, deploying and redeploying of the map mobile petroleum laboratory. The movement of the map mobile laboratory requires numerous documentation coordinated with the procedures to ensure a smooth and safety organized operation with all of the transportation first step of the planning the deployment movement of the mo uh, mobile laboratory is determined the non-mission effective form of the transportation air, military, commercial air, bear, laboratory, mobile laboratory, air, mobile laboratory, water, rail, or road. 
Documentation procedure, shipping a hazardous material part of the Patron Laboratories military aircraft provided with the technical manual 38250 to the for the forms. Documentation is filed with the Department of Defense Form 13872. Special handling data data server certification, air shipping papers, waivers. Waivers are used dur- during the tactical contingency operations. Example, the Air Force waivers can be found in the Tavillo Manual 10672. Request the shipment military aircraft headquarters of the United States Air Force headquarters of the Department of the Army. Reason for shipment, reason why other modes of transportation cannot be used, date of the movement, route, and the type of the aircraft required point of contact at origination designation. Preparation of mobility laboratory. The equipment storage technical manual 10 66 40 2 15 13, uh, 13. Equipment stripped and put in drawers. Drawer, drawers are locked. Equipment drawer tapes. The equipment electrical system technical manual 10 66 40 2 15 13. All out is checked. All proper switches is off. The main breaker in the off position. All sliding slides and glasses tape. The testing apparatus technical manual 10 66 40 2 15 13. All blasts drained and emptied. Apparatus secured with the designated location testing reference. All reference is will be stored in the designated locations. The slide doors on the reference area will be tapped to tape closed. This shows a, a mobile workstation. Um, other laboratory pre-deployment requirements, weight and center balance of mobile laboratory inventory, inventory all chemical and re- 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 reagents, mobile, lab- mobile laboratory overpack, final preparation, the tie-down generator, 60 kilowatt, 30 kilowatt, hazard military shipping, sh- safety review, the military review, the military safety de- um, data sheet, the non-commissioned officer in charge of the base patrol and laboratory is responsible for the ensuring mi- mi- mobile laboratory for the applicable military safety data sheet for each of the chemical solvent reagent, re- reagent and use to deploy with mold mobile laboratory review of the Department of Defense Form 1387 no, um, non-commissioned officer in charge also responsible for the review of the Department of Defense Form 1387 Part B the Developing and Implementation of Site Selection Movement of the Critical Journey Pre-Deployment Selection and Appropriate Site Select the site with the ample space for the maneuvering laboratory and all support equipment avoided the grounding excessive slopes excessive sloping could hamper the leveling of the laboratory verify that the site is firm and it has well-drained tent terrain and is relatively free with the surface rocks and large stones at law at least 50 feet, 500 feet away from the, any other operations not uphill or upstream from other facilities which might have the past escaping vapor of fuel. No adjacent low areas with the dangerous vapors may be collected near, near, near a stream pond minimum 500 feet from the environmental reasons or an established water facility. This provides an outside water source for the petroleum laboratory water system. As an easy, easy access to the road nets, as at least one road should be run into the vicinity of the petroleum laboratory. Using uh, utilize GPS coordinated movement and selected by site AEI WT 115825 Perform the setup of the EA, initialize the EPL GR, and obtain position, enter waypoint, navigate to a waypoint. Part C, mobile patrol and laboratory preventive maintenance check services. Man, preventive ma- general preventive maintenance check procedure verification. Ensure the following general procedures are accomplished by assigning the personnel concerning the preventive maintenance check services of the mobile laboratory. Inspect the terminal patrolling lab body exterior starting at the rear of the cover, the rear and roads, curbside, roadside, front, top, and the bottom. Inspecting the data, measure tears and breaks and corrosion. Serve at the patrol and laboratory exterior of the IAWTM 92330 and P. Inspect the surface electronic control units in accordance with the technical manual 541 20, 37, 14. Remove the overbox of the inspect the laboratory broken equipment. Equipment for the loose and not secured. Close the door and vents to determine if the leaks exist. The inspect the doors and diet. Eminence and rotted seals and tightness and closure. Inspect the interior of the vents. Evidence of the water damage, fungi, fungi, medill, do corrosion, and inventory section. Content, and then it's designing against the components for the end of the item. The basic item is listed in the TM 1066 40 215 13 Appendix E. Inventory consumable supplies are contained in the technical section TM 6642 15, 13, Appendix AF, sorry, E, and ensure the damage to discrepancy AWs AR, Army Regulation 735.11, AR 735.11.2. Operational checks. Set the chair, petroleum um, laboratory up to the conduct of check the checks to include the setup, power up, shutdown procedures, IAW Chapter 2, Technical Manual 10 616 when operators are available. Power can easily can be safely provided by the van and ensure the damage of discrepancy is reporting the AIW AR 735.11 and the 735.11.2. Part D, ver- Part D, verifying the mobile laboratory has been packed and secured IAW the technical manual. The chemical hazards wa- waste star- storage, loose test support equipment supplies, drain clean laboratory equipment, manual meter recording, pressure gates, barometer, and properly secured. All gas system bottles and turn off and properly secured. 
Ovens and burner out furnace are clean and discant and removed and discating cabinets and stored analytical balance at the cover with secured vibration mount of the ship and straps and bracket brackets are used required with the retaining screws and tight with the contents cabinets. Are probably stored for the movement gas alarm. Tested all AC main power panel. The circuit breaker is set to off except for the AC A1 CB, A1 CB2, A1 CB9, A1 CB11, A1 CB13. Mechanical um, room of the power panel number two circuit breakers is set to the off except for the A15 CB10. War tank steam generator, high pressure boiler, air system moisture trap are all drained. Power panel number two circuit breaker A15 CB10 set off. A overpack has been secured with the laboratory compartment with the tie down straps. AAW loading ground. Diagram main power panel of the circuit breaker A1 CB1, A1 CB2, A1 CB11, A1 CB13 set off. The emergency light switches to the S17 and S18 set off. Exterior, the mechanical room, the laboratory components with the excess of the rear axis door closed and locked. External power of the generator set off. The main power was removed from the patrol and laboratory connector generator set connector clean with the stored roadside storage to ensure the protective covers that are installed with light electrical. On all electrical connectors, ground cable was removed. The ground lung in the power input panel. The power input panel closed and attached. The cl ground lam clamping the cable, removing the ground rod. Ground routing the driver pro lower removed from the ground. Ground rod and the driver pull the ground cable. The clamp amp is are clean and stored in roadside storage and box drain hose and disconnected clean and stored in roadside storage box hose adapters and stored protective covers are installed with the deck drains. Utilities utilities back stores closed and locked. Be gum bath and fume exhaust door closed and latched. Pure Pure purge exhaust and intake and doors and close and latch. The ECU canvas covers rolled down and secured ladders removed for the rear access. Laboratory component access. Mechanical room air access. Doors removed and store A W technical manual 923-33-62-14P. Rear platform stored. ECU maintenance platform stored. Party development of the mobile la mobile patrolling laboratory sta standard operation procedure is responsible for the patrolling laboratory supervisor to develop a mobile laboratory standard operation procedure. Following content is required required for the effective efficiency standard operation procedure. Preventive maintenance procedure. Preventive maintenance checks uh, check services provide procedure for the mab mobile laboratory provided in the technical manual six ten sixty six forty two fifteen thirteen chapter four. Set up, um, set up power and shutdown procedures. Set up and power down and shutdown procedures provided by the technical manual 10-66-42-15-13 in the chapter 2. Supply requirements procedure. Mobile laboratory storage procedure. Overpack. Black card procedures. Recommended format with the mobile laboratory standard opposition found in field manual 10-426 appendix B. And that takes care of, uh, The series of uh, direct operational maintenance for laboratory facilities QM5181.